Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Passive Passion Online Income and this is Kasim. Where in today's video I'm going to be talking about a topic. It's called how to deal with stress and anxiety as an entrepreneur or investor. <clears throat> now, before getting started, do subscribe, like and comment with whatever questions or topics that you guys want me to shoot videos on or ask me something pertaining to business, investing and men and men's grooming too. All right? Cuz anything related to men's fragrances men's moisturizers whatever that you guys want to know my opinion or thoughts on do ask me all right so let's get back to the topic now i do get this i get i get this question asked a lot from my followers from my new mentees some of my uh, successful mentees too time to time because what happens is the more successful you become by by starting hold on a sec let me just fix this camera all right <clears throat> like cuz what happens is the more successful you become once you once you create one particular business and then once you start creating multiple businesses gradually it does become difficult and managing each and every venture well and the best way to avoid stress and anxiety would be to deal with one thing at one given time all right because what happens is if you try to do things all together at once it just backfires wherein you are not able to monitor the progress and performance of your of your business well and at the same time very soon you're going to get burned out soon so learn to take things one step at a time prioritize and accomplish your goals all right so that you can you can monitor and at the same time assess the performance of your business properly my rule of thumb is before starting any given business do your proper research do your proper due diligence try to find out if this business of try to find out if the business that you're going to start is viable or feasible in the market is it something that you're going to be passionate about remember this do not get into a business just for the sake of making money get into a business with the purpose of enjoying having fun and at the same time providing lots and lots of value to your clientele customers and uh, people in general who are going to be associated with your business or your product always remember that guys don't just get into it just for the sake of having money because that just is not going to take you anywhere if you want to make a mark if you want to have a purpose by which you want to really really distinguish your business or your products from the other bunch that are already there in the market then you got to come up with some unique methods you know to get you onto that platform of pedestal where you desire or where you yearn to be part of <clears throat> now talking about anxiety talking about uh, nervousness talking about stress why do these things happen I'll just take a seat here back in, in the gazebo okay so why do these things happen in the first place why it happens is mainly because people start panicking people start panicking people start um, making a mess of whatever they've started and this all happens because of proper management if you as an entrepreneur are not going to get things sorry if you as an entrepreneur are not going to get things set or if you as an entrepreneur are not going to put things into its right in, uh, into its right place then you are just going to lose focus you also very soon are going to see your business crumbling down anything anything that you want to start let it be self publishing business let it be an affiliate marketing business that you want to start let it be a video course program let it be and uh, drop shipping business which you want to start do your proper research guys try to find out if there is going to be demand for this product that you're going to bring out in the market how good is a competition is a heavy competition for the particular product or brand that you're bringing out in the market do you think you'll be able to survive or sustain and if so what is going to be your modus operandi what is going to be your mechanics you know so all these things are very important you, you, you remember remember this do not take the market for granted because if you're going to take the market for granted you're just going to lose the game 
period. So stress and anxiety is part and parcel of every business, especially while starting. But uh, one uh, few, few important tips that I would like to give you guys is number one is uh, meditate. Try to meditate as much as you can. Okay. Try to make this as a part and parcel of your daily routine from the time that you wake up in the morning all right what many people do these days is the first thing that do, that they do is they just go and grab the phone check the messages how many sales they've made you know and uh, when you do that your mind just gets bombarded with so much of info with so much of to-do list you know you, you just start working on your agenda directly calm down relax you know don't put unnecessary stress on yourself from the moment you wake up take things slowly the moment you wake up first thing that i want you guys to start doing is to drink two glasses of lukewarm water have two glasses of lukewarm water come sit in your couch or in a nice quiet place in your house do not think about anything do not think about anything close your eyes and meditate what i normally do is I meditate for five minutes every day from the time I wake up and when I say meditate <clears throat> think of any particular object that is peaceful that is serene that gives you that sense of calmness okay what I do is I think of I actually visualize myself by closing my eyes I visualize that I'm sitting in a farm in a sunflower farm all right and uh, with my legs crossed all right and with my both arms in my lap I just focus on one particular sunflower which is right in front of me that's it I close my eyes and I just meditate on that sunflower alone now before doing this I set a timer I put it on five minutes because there are there are times that you know I can just meditate for more than 15 20 minutes and uh, if someone doesn't come in you know <coughs> get me out of my meditation process I can just go on and on so set a timer being entrepreneurs and being busy people we don't wanna you know manage our time efficiently well so make make that part and parcel of your daily routine meditate for at least five minutes to begin with and then once you get good at it we try to do it at least for three months at a stretch all right do it for three months see how well your meditation skills to become and then once you see that you can do it well for three months then try to go for 10 minutes but I would advise you not to take it more than 10 minutes provided you are someone who's completely free who has no work who has got nothing to do then you can meditate for as many hours as you want <clears throat> but for me five minutes five to ten minutes and if I know that I'm uh, running out of time I'm short like I'm 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 traveling or I've got a flight to catch you know, it depends. It depends on my business itinerary. So meditation is one. Second is before going to sleep, do not consume uh, dishes that contains meat. Now, this is my tip. Now, I don't know how it works with you guys because what happens is when you cons consume dishes that has uh, meaty products, okay, it takes a lot of time and digestion. All right. And uh, that just can cause a lot of ruckus in your whole digestive system which at times also could give you trouble in falling to sleep asap sometimes you, it, it could just make you a bit uh, irritant because of the lack of digestion so there are a lot of things that goes behind it so as much as possible try to offer vegetarian dishes before going to bed you want to you want to consume meat have it during your lunch time you know or have it during your breakfast but dinner try to opt for vegetarian dishes only all right third important thing is to have a healthy environment of relationships no matter what it is no matter it could be in your business it could be in your friend circle it could be in your family if you see that there are conflicts which are happening on a consistent basis which is taking a toll on you and your and your health try to put an end to it what i mean by that is Try to get out of it. Now, there have been times when uh, I haven't had good relationships with many of my ex-friends, ex-business partners. So rather than arguing, 
and i mean of course you got to you got to give it a chance you got to try things out you got to sit down with them and uh, try to reconcile and reach to an agreement but if that doesn't work then the best way is to get out of it because if you're just going to be in that toxic relationship it's just going to drain you out of your positive and dynamic energy that you possess so get out of it all right same thing for your personal relationships try to have a healthy trustworthy relationship with whoever it could be all right work on it if it doesn't work do your best to try to make it work but still if it doesn't work then get out of it period you're going to be taking your time to work on it and still it, it, it if it you know in spite of putting in so much of effort in spite of doing your part in spite of doing your best if it still doesn't work out then there's no point of wasting your time guys leave get out move on set your priorities right set your priorities set your goals but do not let your relationships do not let your environment affect you for any proper relationship for any proper business for anything in order to survive sustain and progress a, a healthy environment is highly highly crucial and i'm 110% sure you guys will agree with me on that work on that guys environment plays a major role just just like uh, today i i'd gone to the zoo you know and uh, i had uh, see many of the animals who are inside the cages i mean of course i uh, do not enjoy watching these animals you know staying in enclosed habitat but what I, but the point that i'm trying to make is even in zoos they try to ensure that whatever habitat that is given to, to a certain animal <coughs> they try to make it as natural as possible with plants with a little bit of water fountains with a small uh pool with a little bit of puddle here and there you know so so that the animal feel comfortable and feel that it's in a in, that it is part of a natural environment so keep that in mind no matter where you go where you stay it's very very important to ensure that you have a healthy environment whether it's at work or whether it's at home keep that in mind so those are some of the tips guys in uh, dealing with your stress and anxiety and most importantly eat healthy do your workouts if you can't work out just just like me i haven't been getting time to you know go to the gym and uh, do my normal uh, weightlifting routine since it's almost last 6 to 8 months but still i i do make it a point that i at least go for a 5 km or 3 km walk at least 3 to 4 times in a week so at least my fitness and flexibility level stays intact so take care of your health guys health is wealth as the saying goes do not take your health lightly partying is good having fun is good once in a while but uh, set your priorities right and be disciplined no matter what you want to do set set discipline goals and accomplish them take things step by step do not put too much of unnecessary pressure on yourself okay things that you cannot take but work on things gradually one step at a time and talking about haters and pessimists and people who bring you down i've already shot a video on that which i'll be posting has has it been posted i guess it has been posted already so watch that a lot of motivation motivational value in that video which will help you and teach you one way or the other to avoid those haters and those pessimists which are weeds you need to get rid of having them or thinking about them is just going to give you unnecessary stress guys so stay out of all of it okay guys hope you enjoy the video we'll be coming with more videos soon till then you guys take care do not forget to like subscribe and comment below okay take care goodbye guys god bless you